there and welcome back to my channel. So today we're going to be testing out some AliExpress makeup that I have recently bought. So today we're going to be testing out this little cute pretty pot of glitter. This is by You Can Be. Official name is the Crystal Luster Eye Colour. I have this in the shade Pixie and it just looks really really like up oh my I was going to say vagina, but realised that that would actually sound incredibly nasty. So, yeah, I think it's it's my kind of thing. We're also going to be trying out the double-ended eyeliner from Music Flower. One side of this is a matte black liner, and then the other side is a teal liner. So, I'm going to just be bold today and go straight in with the teal, which is horrifically going to clash, because, look, I'm all in yellow today. I could not be any more yellow if I tried well I could be but I'm not going to be because then a bee might come over and land on me I don't know do bees like yellow or not I don't know maybe someone should ask them we're also going to be trying out the define and conquer I almost said <laughs> I was in my head I was thinking conquer as in a conquer that falls from a tree but Anyway, it's not that kind of conquer I'm with. Anyway, we're going to be trying out this little duo today. To finish off, we have an extremely fun couple of products to test out. These look rather inconspicuous in their tubes. Wait for it, guys. The cock lipsticks! Yay! Oh, that looks a little bit dodgy, like just hitting me like this. Yay! I mean, really, guys. But anyway, we have two penis lipsticks. I bet that wasn't a sentence that you thought you were going to be hearing today when you woke up. But yes, I mean, why not? It's Saturday. Just crack the penis lipsticks open. So we've got a purple one. <laughs> and we've got a mustard one. <laughs> they might be mushrooms. We just don't know, but probably not. Okay, so to begin today, we are going to be dibble dabbling in the beautiful you can be uh, powder so this does look kind of green it looks like pinky green in the actual tub oh god do you know this i mean really guys okay if i do a little swatch it looks like nothing like that looks awful doesn't it but look oh it still looks bad what i kind of like this one i hold it right i've got a little bit more on my finger now okay so here we go guys here we go Okay, so look at this, guys. It looks absolutely gorgeous. Today, I'm going to be using this on my eyelids, but I feel like you could also get away with this as a bit of a highlight, so I might actually bash a little bit on my cheeks. You actually have highlight on today, but um, YOLO. I mean, really, guys, yo to the low to the YOLO low. So, okay, how am I doing this? Oh, my gosh, like I feel like I'm not prepared today. I'm going to pop some glitter glue on because when I tried the other eye magic pigment in my last testing out video it looked really beautiful and everything but it did start to kind of wear off quite quickly and i think that's because i didn't put any kind of like sticky base on underneath so i am going to put my nyx glitter glue on and i'll be right back well, well i would do if i could find it because apparently oh here it is oh, yellow i mean yolo anyway guys so I'm just popping on some of the NYX Glitter Glue. I like this one. I've not tried any others. This one seems to work fine. It's affordable. It does kind of make my lids not sting, but burn. Like, I'm making it sound terrible here now, but it can make your lids feel a bit burny, but it's super sticky. Look at that. Hopefully this powder should have no excuse not to stay put until I decide to take it off. Okay, so I've applied the glitter glue. I've got my little Duke Care kind of flat top brush. It does look quite like dirty at the moment. So I'm just going to try to clean it. So I have a little pile of the You Can Be powder in front of me. Just popping my brush in it. There we go. And I'm just going to pop it. I'm doing a lot of popping today. Sorry, guys. She's just popping off all over town. Oh, I'm getting quite a lot falling off. Oopsie daisy. Oh gosh, can you see that guys? It's like it's Christmas time and it's snowing, glittery snow. 
Okay, I definitely picked up way too much. Oh, it's not looking great on the eyes, guys. You know when you swatch it, it starts to come to life when you really like, you know, blend it in and you kind of rub it and that causes it <laughs> to come to life. Uh, like some other things we, we know. But I feel like when you're just, just kind of, you know, kind of patting this on with a brush, it's maybe not reaching its full potential. You know what, I'm just gonna double up. I'm gonna put some fix plus, I forgot what it was then. I was like, fix brush? No, not fix brush, fix plus. I've just popped some on the, look, pop, she's popping still. It's always popping. I've got more of the powder on the brush and we're going back in, guys. Oh, Shania. I mean, really guys, like, am I just picking up way too much of this? Okay, anyway. Oh my gosh, it's just all full. I think there's more in my eyeball at this point than there is on my eyelid. Okay, so the Fix Plus is definitely helping to kind of spread the product. It looks quite patchy. Oh, don't know if I like this, guy. Just like so far, I'm struggling to actually apply it. It's looking really patchy. Should I just use my finger, maybe? Just feck all the tools. Do you know what? It's strange as well because it kind of looks green when it first goes on, but as soon as you start to kind of, oh. It's kind of green when you first pop it on, but then once you start to blend it in, it kind of goes a lovely kind of pink shade. Okay, so there we go. It looks better in person. It looks very pink. It looks kind of chunky and it kind of looks dry, but I don't don't mind it in all honesty. I feel like you're probably not getting the full effect of it on camera. It's not terrible, but do you know what? For the effort you have to go to applying a loose powder, I feel like I would have probably got the same results if I just used like a duochrome, like pressed eyeshadow. Like there's nothing about this that's making me think it was worth the extra effort. I've just realised as well, I'm not liking my founded liation today. So please don't look at the founded liation today because I'm not liking it. At, at this point, I'm not really liking that powder. I know a lot of people would probably say, well, I'm when. It's, it's literally just a loose powder. I just don't like it still. I, I don't feel like it's magnificent and I want magnificent. I feel like it's going on a bit nicer on the other eye. Why is that? It's very chunky though, guys, you know. I feel like it's got little tiny bits of glitter mixed in. And that's making it a little bit chunky. And it doesn't seem to like Fix Plus. So, look, can you see, like, it, it's kind of balling up almost with the Fix Plus. So I definitely would not recommend Fix Plus with this. Oh, guys, I don't like it. I don't like it. What a shame that is. This is kind of how it's looking. It, as I said... It's just not worth the extra effort to me of all the faffing about with the glitter glue and having to pour the powder onto your desk and have it drop down your face like some kind of avalanche of unicorn dandruff. Oh, I said I would try a bit on my cheeks, didn't I? Should I do that still? I, I'm going to do it because I know that I think you'd be disappointed if I didn't. So we're going to do it. I am going to bring the mirror back out again. This mirror has been open and closed more times than... Lena the plug's legs. I mean, really, guys. By the way, I love Lena the plug. She's she's amazing. Got like the tiniest bit on my brush, and I'm just applying that. It does have quite a strange kind of green look to it. Can you say like I feel like all you can probably see now is green? It's a no from me, guys. A solid pass. I don't know if the other shades would be any better, but. Like the reason why I don't like this one is I don't, I just don't like the powder, like just not feeling it. And I feel like I've just fecked up my beautiful duochrome highlight now. So I'm just going to have to correct that very quickly before we move on. Using the Aurora palette by TZ Cosmetics is my favourite. I love this palette. I would marry this palette if I could. Well, maybe not, but look at that guys. Look at that. Look at that. 
Hello, I mean, really, guys. Okay, so next we're going to try the Define and Conquer Contour Kit. So this is a little contouring duo. You've got the contour side, and then you've got... They claim that this is like a, a lightening kind of powder. So this is in the shade 101. They do have a couple of other shades. This was the lightest one uh, because I am a fair kind of lady. Can you see anything? I feel like I can't really see anything. Hello? Is anybody in there? It's not bad. I thought it was going to be quite neutral, but it does seem to have a little bit of like redness to it. But I don't think it's not working for me, so feeling rather excited about that. Pop some on the other side. It's got an awful smell, like horrific smell like re a really bad smell i put a little bit too much on over here i'm just living my life you know can you see though it does have a little bit of like redness to it ironically i'm using my very vegan bronzer by uh, w7 as a mirror today this is an amazing bronzer if you've got fair skin this is fantastic it's so affordable anyway let's check out its competitor it's not bad, although I don't think it's blending as seamlessly as I would want it to, you know. Uh, and I don't know, is it a little bit too deep for me? Oh, my eyes are pissing me off right now, guys. Like, literally pissing me right off. Around the forehead. I don't hate this, you know, guys, but it does have such an overpowering kind of obnoxious scent to it. I don't know if I would be kind of reaching for it. In the comments, I want you to tell me what you think of this because I kind of like it. However, I can definitely see that it's potentially a little bit too deep for me. Like, if you could tell me what you think, I would really appreciate that. I'm just going to pop a little bit around my jawline just to shave off a couple of inches you know really strange whenever i do my like jaw contour i always feel kind of creeped out by it because i feel like we spend our lives trying to you know bring foundation like all the way down to our bobias so we don't have that like weird like tired mark there but then i feel like whenever i'm you know contouring the jawline am i not just making a tired mark I feel like on camera it looks good because it does definitely like bring in your face and I like my face to be brought in a little bit. I just feel like snatched. Yeah, she's snatched right now. That's her, that's her, Missy Snatch face. Okay, so next we're going to go in with the lighter shade and I'm just going to kind of plop this on my chin. I don't know what I'm hoping to see here because I have, you know, powdered my face. By the way, this stinks lighter shade just seems to smell more than the the darker shade for some reason i know you're watching this thinking i'm when could you not have enlisted a smaller brush for this i'm thinking the same i'm thinking the same guys i know this is like the most ridiculous brush to be trying to do this kind of situation with okay it's on it's on uh what am i thinking now let me see I mean, obviously, like, I don't know what I was expecting to see with that powder, but I do definitely think it's added, <laughs> or has it? I don't know. Am I just imagining it? I don't know, guys. I think I'm going to have to retest the lighter side, <laughs> the lighter side, when I have, um, you know, not set my face already, just to, like, see if I could really, you know, make the high points of my face pop. I like the contour. I'm keen to know what your thoughts are. I would not recommend it just because I think the smell is one of the worst things I've ever smelled in my life. And I've changed, like, millions of pooey nappies at this point. So if that doesn't tell you something, I do not know what will. Okay, so next we're going to move on to the double-ended eyeliner. I am very intrigued by this on one side you've got the matte black liner and then on the other side you have the teal liner now i did film my aliexpress haul yesterday lunchtime been like a good 24 hours since 
I've had a shower, I've scrubbed my hand, like literally last night when I was brushing my teeth, I spotted it and I thought, right, I'm going to scrub it and see if it comes off still there I mean really so today we're going to be using the teal side which I don't think is going to actually go with anything else upon my person right now so this is just called the fluid eyeliner and it's by music flower they did have other shades like purple blue okay what am I doing I don't know oh my gosh oh my gosh she's overcome with nerves all of a sudden <laughs> Like where the feck did my wing go? Like this happens all the time because I'm 34. Look at that, like when I was like this, I was like, hell yeah, what a fabulous wing. And then as soon as my eye goes back to normal, it's like, anyway, I'm just gonna extend that wing up a little bit. Okay, so there we go. I actually really, really like this. I feel like it was super easy to apply. The felt tip bit was just like really easy to use. It was flexible, but not too flexible. I think that the actual kind of liner itself is extremely kind of pigmented and, you know, opaque. I didn't have to like go over it. It was just like wham, bam, there you go, teal eyeliner in your face i think it's really really good guys like really good i'm not a huge fan of the shade and i can't really see many situations where i'm probably going to be like actually using this but it does also have the black side which i definitely will use seeing as how impressed i am by this <laughs> Okay, so there we go. Again, so easy to apply, like one of the easiest eyeliners I feel like I've ever applied in my life. I'm not sure if this is waterproof because it doesn't actually say upon its person, but I am going to be wearing this for the rest of the day and I will update you and let you know how it, it's kind of worn as the day's gone on. As I said, like not a huge fan of the actual shade, but I kind of not really disliking it i i definitely think this could be wearable like i don't think it's like some kind of crazy like neon green i'm just going to refine it a tiny bit okay so i just made the line a little bit thicker <gasps> okay guys we're here at the moment where we are going to be testing out the penis lipsticks Oh yeah, -na 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 -na. Uh, uh, uh. so I'm going to be trying out the purple one first, just go, go grab my mirror again, she says when it's right in front of me, I'm like, Wait, what, why did you make that sound like it was like an ordeal? So I just popped some false lashes on because I always forget to put mascara on at the end of these videos, so I just thought, right, I'm just going to do it now whilst I remember, okay, so guys, we are ready. It is our moment with the penis lipstick. I have tried one of these before and I actually really, really like the formula. Uh, let's do this. I mean, let's do it guys. I suddenly feel a little bit awkward about this, but I'm going to do it. Like, I feel like I'm a bit, well, I creeped out is what I am about this. So this is the purple one. Uh, this is shade 13. Oh my gosh, it's so creamy. Look at that. <gasps> ah, you know what? For a purple lipstick, look how opaque it is. Look how creamy it is. I've got two purple lipsticks from Kat Von D. Um, I think it's Siggy and Ozzy. Am I just making this up? Anyway, two of them from the Rock Candy collection. They are very tricky to apply. They're kind of quite draggy, they're very dry, they don't really last that long. This is looking really good, like I'm really liking this. 
and it just feels so good going on and you know the little like penis head actually makes for a really really easy application because if look it's curved so it's kind of so easy oh my gosh like don't tell honeys he'll be getting all kinds of ideas if he knows that i approve of a penis head for applying my lipstick but oh gosh it's good guys it's so silky can you see how silky it is look at this i could just rub it on my lips all day literally it just feels so good oh my gosh look at that guys this is way better than I ever thought it would be. I just thought it would be a little bit of fun throwing these in at the end of the video, but I'm, I'm so impressed with this. This is like the best purple like lip product I've ever put on my lips ever. And if you're a fan of purple, you need this. Like you need to have this in your life because look at that. Oh, I love it. Even though that was a big success, I am not so positive about the mustard lipstick because I've never really worn mustard on my lips before but then again I've never, well I have actually applied lipstick with a penis before. Obviously the last time I tried this lipstick not, like I don't go around doing that in my general life. Do you know what, I'm just like stalling because I don't want to take this off. Honey, can I show you something? Can I show you something? <laughs> Cock lipsticks. This one's beautiful, honeys. And I'm just about to try this one. Good move. <laughs> right. Honeys, don't be jealous, honeys. I know they're a bit big. Okay, so we're going to try the mustard out next. Okay, so it's not really mustard. Uh. I definitely don't feel like this one is quite as, you know, pigmented and opaque as the purple. It's kind of like a golden yellow, which is mustard, isn't it, really, I suppose, when I think about it. Or is mustard like a brownie yellow? I don't know. Again, it just feels so smooth going on. I don't really think it's my shade and I, I think there's probably a very good reason why I've never really worn this kind of shade before. It does look a little bit patchy however it feels super super comfortable like this and the purple one just feel like lip balms going on. They've got that kind of almost like you know a lip balm that's infused with like cocoa butter or like shea butter or your jojoba butter. <laughs> it kind of feels like you know that going on because it's like super super like smooth going on I actually again like do I like this no I don't think I do but I'm not hating it though again similar to like the powder like I can't picture the time when I'm ever going to be like you know saying yes I'm going to wear my mustard lipstick today I don't think it's terrible but I don't love it as much as the purple one both the formulas are brilliant however this one is definitely a little bit more patchy and just not as opaque or pigmented so I definitely prefer the purple one but but I kind of like I can't be hating either one of them and I actually do feel like I want to go and buy some more and you get over the hilarity of them being penises they're actually really really good lipsticks which is crazy you know like I thought these were purely like a gimmick just a little bit of fun a bit of a laugh something you could buy you know a bride to be on on the hen night at the hen party and they would all be there just applying the penis lipstick wanking off their blow up doll um, you know, and just getting absolutely wankered, but having a great time doing it. Thought, you know, these were going to be shit, but they're not. I love them. I love the boldness of the company who made these, thinking we are going to produce a great lipstick, but we're going to make it in the shape of a penis, because why not? I support that kind of thinking, you know. I think, yes, why can't more businesses do that? I mean, really, guys, I mean, if I go into Greg's one day and there is a penis shaped pasty then 
I will have seen everything that I will have ever needed to have seen in my life. I am going to go now. I hope that you've enjoyed the video. I will be back at the end of the video just to give you an update as to how the liner wore. Same with like the powder pigment situation on my eyes, but I already kind of know that I don't really like it. Do you know what? It wasn't a huge fail. I'm just I'm just waiting for your comments to let me know what you think about the contour. But I love the lipsticks. I love this eyeliner, which you actually can't see anymore now that I've applied my falsies. And I like the like the eyeshadow stuff from a distance, but like up close, I just feel like can you see what I mean? It looks a little bit chunky. But anyway, guys, I am going to go leave you in peace. Thank you so much for watching the video, and I will see you in the next one still can't wave properly like literally like oh my gosh I've just realized as well I put foundation all over my nose ring I mean really I'm going to I was thinking where's my nose ring oh oh it's there under the gallons of foundation okay so I've had the makeup on for about six five or six hours at this point and I'm actually really really impressed with this eyeliner I think it's held up extremely well excuse the fact that I've got no mascara on my top lashes but I took the falsies off and just couldn't be bothered putting mascara on because we've not really done that much we've been like we've been watching it the film so I just didn't put any mascara on but anyway the eyeliner is really 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 good I would really recommend that the lipstick which I've just applied I'm just all about I think it's absolutely spectacular do you know what as well i'm kind of like coming around a little bit to the eye situation i don't think that the loose powder like is the best i've ever tried but it's definitely not the worst however i would definitely recommend the eye magic uh, loose powders over the little you can be ones I tried the eye magic one out in my last testing out video and it was like so much easier to apply a lot less chunky and a lot less wanting to kind of ball up if that makes sense but anyway i'm gonna go wash off this makeup and i'll see you next We'll